And here we go, semi-final number two. Maya Valentine versus Taya Gardner, the winner to go on to play Joey Wheeler in the final of the inaugural Duelist Kingdom Cup. This should be a very interesting match because both decks focus heavily on equipped cards. So we have got almost... The only thing though is that Maya's deck is a little bit short on monsters because I really have nothing else to add to them, so... All right, we are looking from Maya's perspective, and as you see, it has happened. Two Harpy Lady Sisters cards, which can't be summoned. Black Pendant and a Gus Fan, they're equipped cards. Okay, Taya has started with Soul of the Pure. That's an 800 life point increase. And Maya has also got Shadow of Eyes. Taya has played a face-down defense. Maya needs something. Remove Trap. That is not something she needed. Maya has drawn a really, really terrible hand to start this off. And it's going to be a shame if the run that her deck has had and the luck that she's had with her drawing cards, it'll be a shame if this duel ends up as a whitewash because Maya couldn't draw a monster. All right, there's Shining Friendship, the very card that Taya played against Maya in their Duelist Kingdom duel after Yugi had lost to Kaiba. 1,300 points off Maya, and does she have... Does she have something she can draw here? Cyber Shield, that's another equip card. If she does draw a Harpy Lady, that, that's going to be one powerful Harpy Lady. And seven cards in the hand, so she's had to discard one of the Harpy Lady sisters. And what's Taya got here? No, it's straight to the battle phase. She hasn't elected to play any cards down, which is... A little bit unusual. I wonder what Taya has in her hand. If she's not going to play anything. Maybe a little bit of conservative. There's an elegant egotist. I, this duel may not go very long. Taya has the option. Alright, Mai's going to play Shadow of Eyes, which isn't going to help. Mai needs him in defense position, not attack position. Although, if Mai does draw a Harpy Lady... She, uh, yeah, that, that Harpy Lady is powerful, and Elegant Egotist is in, is in the hand. All right, Taya again, electing not to play any cards. I wonder if she's got all... She might just have all magic and maybe weaker monsters that just... Still, it is... Oh my god, Maya has drawn the Harpy Lady. You're kidding me. She only has three of them in the deck, and she's managed to pull one. That is an amazing draw. All right, Gus Fan goes on to the Harpy Lady. Also, Black Pendant. That's another 500. She could have put all these on Harpy Lady Sisters, or besides Cyber Shield. All right, Harpy Lady is now 2,700. And Mai has elected not to summon Harpy Lady Sisters. That may have... Mai may have gotten a little bit excited that she got her Harpy Lady to the field. My better hope that... Taya doesn't have a magic or trap to destroy it. That may have been a mistake by Maya to not get the Harpy Lady Sisters to the field. Taya has gone with another face down defense. And there's Shadow of Eyes. That's going to flip that card face up into a... T oh, okay. Spirit of the Harp. Maybe that's why Taya wasn't playing any cards down because they're all of her defensive-minded cards and she didn't want to... She wanted to save them for if she needed them. All right, there's Wabaku for Maya. That means that Taya will fail an attack. And Mai again, not playing Elegant Egotist. Which is very strange. Mai is playing very conservative, and so is Taya. Quite a... Quite a strange duel. Why would Mai not have played Elegant Egotist? Is she worried that Taya might have something in her hand that can... Like a dark hole or something that might get both of them off the field. Maybe that's why Mai's playing conservative. Still electing just to have Harpy Lady on the field. There's Witch of the Black Forest. That will allow Taya to draw one card with 1500 or less defense from the deck to her hand. A bit of a thought process. Strongest card in Taya's deck is Wing Weaver. That's at 2750. I have not seen that card all series from Taya. 
any day now, Taya is going to draw a card to her hand. It is a Dark Elf. It's a 2,000, but you have to pay a 1,000 life points for it to attack, so it's not the most useful card in the world. All right. Taya on counter-attack. Really strange that Maya has elected not to play Elegant Egotist. Must be a reason for it. Da oh, okay. There's a dark hole. That will get rid of the Harpy Lady, and it would have got rid of Harpy Lady Sisters as well. Right, Black Pendant, when that's removed from the field, that does 500 points of damage. There's Wabaku from Mai. That will act as a shield for this turn. I would guess... Mai was probably worried that there was a dark hole or something in Taya's hand, so she didn't want to lose both both those monsters. But it may have been may have been better for Mai just to attack early and try and get try and get the threat off the field. All right, Malevolent Nuzzler is equipped to um, you. You have got to be kidding me! I don't believe what I've just seen. Mai has drawn another Harpy Lady. There's only three of them in the deck. The odds of doing that is like so low. That is... That is absolutely incredible. Mai this time will play Elegant Egotist. I can't believe Mai may have actually made the best move by not playing Harpy Lady Sisters earlier. That is incredible. If she played Harpy Lady Sisters earlier, she would have lost everything and she wouldn't have been able to de defeat Maiden of the Moonlight with that Harpy Lady. And then it would have been a guaranteed loss. That is incredible. Taya is down to 2750 and she is in trouble. It's looking like a My vs. Joey final, which is also quite an ironic deal. Better yet, Taya and Joey is also ironic. Given that Taya used to school him all the time back in the school days when Joey was first learning. Dark Elf, good card. Uh, Taya doesn't have to attack with it, although she will. It will cost her a thousand life points. However, Harpy Lady Sisters are off the field. And Mai again now is the one that's in trouble. Taya can only attack one more time with Dark Elf. She's running out of life points. Oh, there's Follow Wind. She's, in, she's decided to put that to her Harpy Lady. It's not a bad move because it may force Dark Elf to attack if Taya doesn't have anything else that can get over a 1600. What's Taya going to go for here? Chorus of Sanctuary. Increase the defense of all defense position monsters by 500. Hoshiningen. Increase the attack of all light and all dark down. That's decrease the... That's decreased her Dark Elf. That is, and Mai is probably going to be on defense, so playing Chorus of Sanctuary is a very odd move. It's a very Taya-like card, mind you. But All right, what's Taya doing here? She can destroy Harpy Lady now with Hosh and Ingen, and she can still attack with the Dark Elf, but that is a bit of a risk due to her, her life points. Taya, deep in thought, only two cards left in her hand. Mai only has a removed trap. Mai, she's in trouble because she, if she doesn't draw another monster, she's lost two of her Harpy Ladies. And finally, Taya has decided to attack. She's down to 750 life points. Hosh and Ingen at 1700 attacks. Taya is probably thinking Mai with only one card in her hand doesn't have anything. And if she has assumed that, she has assumed right. Taya plays, or my draws, seven tools of the bandit, which doesn't do anything. Unbelievable, what a duel this has been. My played the best possible move and may actually still lose. Taya has come back again. Goddess with the third eye, and that'll be it. That will, together, will be 3,400 points of damage. And there's Black Pendant. I can't believe it, 750 life points left, and Taya is gonna pick up the win. This has been an incredible duel. I was not expecting this at all. It was fast paced and hard hitting. Taya has picked up the victory and she moves on to the final. How has Taya made it to the final of this tournament? That is bewildering. Absolutely bewildering. Well, Taya defeats Mai 
It's going to be Joey and Taya, high school friends. And Taya, remember, Taya didn't beat him three times in a row. Taya beat him five times in a row back in the Duelist Kingdom days. Well, will Joey be able to topple his his high school rival and his, uh, what would you say, kind of his embarrassing losses to Taya, playing Breath of Light to destroy his giant rock guy and that Taya should give it up after she played Happy Lover? She didn't stand a chance unless she played this card. And yes, Joey, she can do that. Well, Taya and Joey for the final. Taya picked up the win against Mai. What a... What an odd tournament this has been. We're going to see Joey and Taya for the final. Here's a quick look at the tournament bracket just to have a reflect on as we are going into the final match tomorrow. These videos come out at midnight, Western Australia, Perth time, Perth, Western Australia. Slot it in Google if you need to do your, uh, your time zone. I'm really looking forward to the final match. I wonder what kind of match we're going to see. Hopefully it's an interesting one. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the match between Maya and Taya. At least this time I didn't say um, Ty and, or I didn't say um, Maya and Ty as I did when I was announcing the last match. Well, thanks for tuning in. The support for these videos has been amazing so far. And I'm going to continue to do more series after this tournament has concluded. So wherever you are in the world, stay safe, keep well, farewell. <laughs>